Hello my YouTube friends, if you're watching this video, chances are you're looking for a tonneau cover for your new truck. Well, I've had a number of trucks over the years and I don't own a truck without a tonneau cover. And here is my 2023 Chevy Colorado in a nice bright red. Uh, just had it a short while. Uh, it's a new body style. And like always, I ordered a new tonneau cover and installed it. Now I was gonna do a video on the actual installation of the tonneau cover, but this one's so simple to install, I thought I would just walk you through it. This tonneau cover is a soft roll up from Bison out of the Toronto area. Uh, I ordered it just a few days ago and installed it. They have relatively quick shipping. The shipping is free. And I just love the tonneau cover, and I'm gonna show you all about it. But take a look at that. Nice, nice quality. Has little metal clips. Nicely sealed rubber gasket in here. And it rolls up and fastens with these two little clamps to keep it in place. In the past, I've had the hard tops, trifolds, I've had various types. This time I opted for just a simple roll up. Check it out. Very simple to operate. It's got a little grab handle right here. Pull that, and flip it, easily done. Even with just one hand. Roll it just like this. Now you can see there's a bar going across for center support. Second bar. And it just rolls up against the cab and it's secured with these two straps. Very simple. Now, in terms of the installation, couldn't get any easier. And it comes in three primary pieces the two side rails and the end rail which holds the cover now what i would advise you to do is take the two side rails and the end rail and they just fasten together push it up tight and there's a little allen screw on the inside on each side Tighten that, and that's held in place. Then, firmly position it the way you want it, and I would suggest having the cover as far up to the cab as you can in order to fit properly on the tailgate, and then place your clamps into place. Now, with a roughly a five foot box, this truck comes with only four clamps, but I opted to order two more they figure four is enough. So I added the two in the middle on my own. But as you can see, they couldn't be any easier to install. They just simply fit up into the rail, nice design and hand tighten. Super, super easy. In terms of where it's positioned here at the back, you can see I left a little space about the size of my finger right there and you'll see why in a minute. Again, it's so that when I unroll the cover and put it on, it nicely lines up across the back. Now I'll do that, I'll put it in place and I'll show you. Okay, I rolled the cover back down into place. You can see how nicely it fits around here. And now you'll see what I'm talking about. When you close a tailgate, perfect fit just in the right spot in my opinion if you have the cover too close to the or too far from the cab then it won't fit properly at the back it'll actually hang over too much at the end and that's it bison tonneau covers the only other thing worth mentioning is it did come with an extra gasket that went right in the very front here under this end rail to fill the space between the rail 
and the truck bed. This is how nice this thing seals. The gasket that's under these side rails is a nice thick gasket and it looks so good the way it just tightens up under here that this entire tunnel cover was installed with no tools. They supplied the one tool you need, which is just a little Allen wrench to tighten up the two pieces that joined the side rail and the end rail. About the only other tool you might need technically is a pair of scissors to cut the rubber gasket that goes right here under that very first end rail. And that's it. Everything else is provided. The clamps that put this together or hold it in place, all done by hand. Super, super easy. There you have it, folks. Bison tunnel covers, soft roll up, reasonably priced. Nice quality, great look. Looks good on my new Chevy truck. Thanks for watching.